All right, Audioholics, we are here at the Klipsch booth and we're taking a look at their new RP Wireless series. Uh, you get a variety of speakers, sort of traditional looking uh, floor standing and center and bookshelf speakers and it all centers around this hub right here. The general idea with this system is that it's as simple to set up as a sound bar, but it gives you the type of performance that you're most likely to see out of a full home theater. Best part, very few wires. Sure, you have to plug the speakers into the walls, but there's no additional speakers running from this hub. You simply set up the hub and then on the back of the speaker you select whether it's a center or whether it's a left or a surround. You can do up to a 7.2 system. Uh, it's two, two subwoofers, seven channels all the way around. And what's great about this is that uh, it works on the WISA standard and you, uh, you can get as deep into it as you want. If you want to set levels, you want to set distance, you can do all that. But otherwise, this is going to give you a home theater with as easy of a setup as you can possibly get. The classic Klipsch sound and uh, you can deep dive into it if you want. If not, not an issue. We're going to take a look at some of the other things that Klipsch has going on here. There's a real vibe going on, a retro vibe, a vintage vibe, lots of walnut finishes, the heresies and the Klipsch horns are back. Um, there, there's a lot of Bluetooth and portable systems as well uh, that are taking on that same vintage vibe. So we're going to see a little bit more about what Klipsch has going on here at CES 2016. We're here at CES 2016, we're looking at the latest from Klipsch. Well, maybe not necessarily the latest, I mean, after all, there's a definite vintage vibe going on with the re-release of the Klipsch horns and whoops, the Heresy speakers, but you're going to see um, that sort of classic vibe, the grills, the new logo, by the way, look at that throwback logo. You're going to see all of that extending into their other ranges as well. For instance, right up here, we see Bluetooth speakers, we'll get a closer look at that later, I'll get some pictures up on the website. Um, that same vintage Vintage vibe, you're gonna see again all of the Bluetooth speakers all the way down to some wireless heresy speakers as well. So Klipsch has a full range of things going on. We took a much closer look at their wireless home theater system. We're gonna be seeing more of that feature on YouTube. If you are not yet a subscriber to the Audioholics YouTube channel, you're gonna to want to do that at youtube.com slash audioholics. Back to the floor, let's see what else is out there. We're here again with the Klipsch booth. Uh, one thing I've got to show off, this is pretty cool, it's just really funky. So yes, that is vinyl spinning, and what is it spinning to? Oh, it's spinning to self-powered Klipsch heritage monitors. That's, boom, those right there. They have a phono input, a, a whole series of inputs on the back. The whole idea is that these powered monitors, kind of like studio monitors, are gonna be your one-stop shop for getting that Klipsch sound into your house as easily as possible, regardless of whether you're using digital inputs or analog inputs including photo inputs for your turntable. And of course, they've got that vintage clip vibe going on with the walnut finish and the famous clip horns. Back to the floor here at CES 2016.